Good evening and welcome to my study. My name is Ron, I'm your host, and it's my pleasure to share a daily devotional with you. Something to keep the armor of God on. And stay closer to God. Amen. Well, today is Saturday. I had a very peaceful, restful day. Felt good after the very busy week. And uh, even got cleaned up a little bit. Got that beard trimmed. <laughs> so, we are still in Isaiah. We're going to look at a few, few verses in Isaiah 55 tonight. Let's get after it. Is anyone thirsty? Come and drink. Even if you have no money, come take your choice of wine or milk. It's all free. Why spend your money on food that does not give you strength? Why pay for food that does you no good? Listen to me, and you will eat what is good. You will enjoy the finest food. Come to me with your ears wide open. Listen, and you will find life. I will make an everlasting covenant with you. The food and drink that the psalmist is or the prophet Isaiah is talking about is the food from right from here. The food and drink is right from this book. The finest food, the finest drink you can find. Amen. Let's look ahead here a few verses. Seek the Lord while you can find him. Call on him now while he is near. Let the wicked change their ways and banish the very thought of doing wrong. Let them turn to the Lord that he may have mercy on them. Yes, turn to our God, for he will forgive generously. His unfailing love and mercy is far behind beyond our comprehension. <clears throat> find this one verse here. Seek the Lord while you can find him. Call on him now while he is near. That suggests that there's a time when he's not as near. I believe that time is now. It is obvious that uh, God has given the evil one a wider berth to steal and destroy as many as he can before Christ's return. So maybe God's not as close as he was a while ago. My, that's my thought. In any case, it is important to stay in the devotional, stay in the Word. The Word is the sword of the Spirit, part of the armor of God. It's everything we need. Amen? Amen. We've been memorizing some verses, or I've been putting verses out there to memorize, and I'm talking about the command, knowing the commands of God. And we did have already Mark 12, verses 30 and 31, which are the two greatest commands. Sure. First one being, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your strength, with all your mind, with all your soul. The second is, love your neighbor as yourself. 
God doesn't call us to violence. He calls us to love. To be patient, to be understanding. To show the spirit of Jesus. Amen? Amen. I am going to leave you with another command. That is from Matthew 10, verse 32. Everyone who acknowledges me publicly here on earth, I will also acknowledge before my Father in heaven. There's one to bite down on hard. You all have a good night. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. And don't be ashamed to wear your faith. Good night. Thank you.